What's going on guys? Your buddy Rafi at Rafi614. Thank you for all the love, all the support, all the comments, for everything, for being my loyal subscribers. Today is May the 1st and I am on my way to a lot of places. Um, rumors have been spreading around that today, May the 1st, is the it's an actually good day to go to a hot topic and uh, Walmart and yeah I'm gonna be checking places around uh, hot topic reason being will be um, Pirates of the Caribbean pops coming out maybe I'll get lucky with a chase hot topic exclusive also Oh, I almost forgot. GameStop. Today's a good day to go to GameStop. Spider-Man Homecoming Pops released today. Mine's are pre-ordered at GameStop. So I don't have to worry much about going to GameStop. Because I got a call last week that my Pops were in. But I could not pick them up till today. So, GameStop opens at 10. Hot Topic opens at 10. Walmart is open already. At least 24 hour Walmart is open. And I know another one that it's closed from midnight to six in the morning, so it's open too. Uh, you know what? I'm like a mile away from Walgreens. Why not stop at Walgreens and look at this. Look at this. No common sense, no common courtesy. They have a red light and they still turn without the freaking signal light. I miss Florida already. <laughs> Although, when I was down in Florida, there was, I guess there's just people that don't know how to drive and have, uh, just don't know how to drive. Let's, let's leave it there. Let's not talk about it. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to check out Walgreens because from my Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Pint Size Heroes, I am missing both uh, Walgreens exclusive. And I would literally be, you know, my. Uh, Pine Size Hero uh, collection for Guardians of the Galaxy will be complete with those two that I'm missing. So I'm going to swing by Walgreens because I know for sure, for shizzle, that the Walgreens here in my town gets a truck on Monday nights and Friday nights. So I didn't check Saturday. So I'm going to check today. And then tomorrow to see if I get the uh, Pine Side Heroes. Please don't mind me. I am half asleep. I just woke up. I need some coffee. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's about it. That's a heck of a introduction to this video. Um, um yeah. Let's do this. All right, guys. So, uh, I'm at first Walmart our first Walmart stop um, hopefully they got something good in here I'm still hoping to find the uh, Ray uh, with speeder pop that Walmart's supposed to carry I saw a posting in one of the Funko groups uh, pages or yeah Funko groups on on Facebook that uh, actually uh, some uh, Walmart's in Pennsylvania um, have received the uh, Ray with speeder pop and I'm hoping that you know we get them soon um, I should be able to go to about one, four or five Walmarts today hopefully I'll find something good I don't have to keep on going to Walmart and then I want to be a hot topic and uh, I don't know I'll be there an hour early and camp out see if I get some goodies and uh, I don't know wish me luck hopefully we'll find something good here and ooh. Dunkins, gotta get coffee. So, they got nothing. I mean, they got stuff, but not what I'm looking for. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, Pine Size Heroes I already have. Uh, let me show you guys. This is all they have. They got some uh, Beauty and the Beast, Mystery Minis. Oh, look at this guy. 
I have three of them. Ain't that something? And then I know they got another spot over here where they usually. Oh my God! What a mess! You know I'm leaving that like that because it's not my job. <laughs> so yeah, we got nothing. The other thing that I'm looking for is uh, the Milano ship from Guardians of the Galaxy. They have a Hot Wheel one. I've seen that the states down south have already have gotten them. I'm hoping to find some. Uh, I don't know if they're carrying him here or Toys R Us. I guess I could swing by Toys R Us. And uh, yeah, but first, coffee. All right, guys. So I already stopped two Walgreens and that one Walmart, and uh, I had to run back home. I got my coffee too. I had to run back home because. Uh, I'm gonna camp out for about an hour at Hot Topic. I have a feeling it's gonna be a whole lot of people besides myself hunting down the Pirates of the Caribbean pops if they're coming out tonight or today rather. Um, <laughs> and I want to be one of the first people there, get first dibs on everything. So I came back home because if I'm gonna sit there for an hour, I already got my folding chair. Uh, might as well bring my switch. So, <laughs> play some Mario Kart 8. And, um, I don't need, uh, I would have brought my Zelda, but I already took off. I'm not going to turn around. I also have Zelda Breath of the Wild. That game is pretty darn awesome. And, um, yeah, headed to Hot Topic. See if I get any luck. And then after Hot Topic, I'll head over to uh, my GameStop, where I pre-ordered all the Spider-Man Homecoming pops. Also, I believe there's going to be some sort of three-pack Pine Size Heroes with a mystery Pine Size Hero right in the middle or something. I don't know if that releases today. I would assume so. Uh, or if it's gonna be an exclusive to a store, I have no idea. I'll find out later on. But um, yep, on my way to uh, West Farms Mall in West Hartford, Connecticut, so I can head over to Hot Topic and see if I can get some goodies. So wish me luck. Oh, well, here we are at GameStop. Let's see who's working in here today. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully they're not busy. The Pop Hunting King is here. My buddy. We got a bunch of stuff for you today. So yeah. the rest of the Overwatch Pops came in. Oh, did you get some here? What? The repeat people. that, repeat that again. The rest of the Overwatch Pops came in. I have an extra right here. I don't know if you got him. <laughs> you see why I love this girl so much? You see that? This is, this is, the person the sweetheart that actually got me the qui-gon i was just talking about right oh. now she went and you know got here at three o'clock in the morning no <laughs> <I don't have laughs> but she didn't she didn't miss she didn't miss a couple hours of sleep to go get me my overwatch pop so ooh, yeah. nice she put the nice ones aside of course because i get vip treatment yeah. <laughs> you guys know that when i get home you guys are going to see this bad boy glow in the dark during the day, if that makes any sense. <laughs> guys, you guys are in for a treat. Look at all this. Look at all this. Quick. Really. Um, I don't think you guys are ready for this, but uh, Selena went in the back to get some more pops. They came in. So, yeah, you guys are in for a treat. Me too, because they're my pops, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I went to get them. I'm going to show you guys. Look at that. Oh my God. Y'all going to have to call 911, so I'm about to pass out. <gasps> oh. Also, all the McCree, the exclusive McCree ones, got kind of crushed in the shipment, but that was the nicest one I could get. Okay. Box wise. Overall, oh, they're fine. It's just he's heavy. <gasps> Look at this. <gasps> Regular me. Regular McCree. Oh my God. Oh, lo. 
look at that Ryan Hart. And my main. Oh my god, look at that. For whatever reason, these all, ones, all the box. everybody's everybody's talking about the divas okay. all came like that where okay. the, the, the top doesn't kind of close okay. quite right. But uh oh Lord. What am I gonna you might do? Need with some backup. No, you didn't bring your little helper today. You bring your daughter. Oh yeah, my baby girl's in school, so yeah. I couldn't oh, yeah, just tell her not to go to school. <laughs> I, I mean I could have told the teachers, hey. She's the pop hunting, you know, pop hunting king says that yeah. she has to come with me. But yeah, I don't think I would I would have fly with her with them. But um yeah, I'm pumped. Anyway, I'll show you guys later. So as you guys saw, I got more than I bargained for. I really wasn't expecting to those for those Overwatch pops to arrive, but you know what? I can't complain. Yes, I would have liked to get the Captain Salazar pop and the Chase one. Like I mentioned before, not because it's a chase of the sticker, I could care less for the chip, for the sticker. It's the actual design, um, and of course I got I couldn't get Will Turner either. But you know what? I'll get him at some point. Um, so now it's time to reveal all the pops and maybe take some of out of the box, which I know a lot of you guys love when I take some of these pops out of the boxes. Yeah, right. So let's start with the hot topic, of course. Hey, start with Spider-Man Unmasked Hot Topic Exclusive. Pretty darn cool. I cannot wait to see Spider-Man Homecoming. So let's get him out the box. Why not? Cause why not? Alrighty, let's do this. Loving the suit. Loving the details on it. Pretty darn cool. Put them right back in there. Ta-da! See? Nice and easy. No harm done to the pot. Get in there. Dude. Alright, so we got Unmask Spider-Man. I mean Spider-Man. And... We got Hot Topic exclusive, quote unquote, gold Jack Sparrow. I was looking at all of them, and literally when you look at the pictures from when they showed that they were going to come out, you know, the Funko, the, the original pictures you saw from Funko, it really looks gold. This looks more like a, I don't even know what to call it, almost like a bronze color, and it's... See for yourselves. Like the paint is not even it it's it's to the point where I would literally buy some actual metallic gold paint and spray paint it and it'll look better. But not complaining because it's Jack Sparrow. So gotta love Jack Sparrow. Put him back in the box. I'm so tired. You guys have no idea. So, got the Hot Topic Jack Sparrow. I'm gonna put my pop. Uh, still, um, I've seen that some of you guys have commented that how did I get a pop, a pop of myself? That is not a legit Funko Pop, I wish. It's an actual custom by my buddy, uh, Stephen Pinks, all the way in Australia. Uh, he got, I got that from him, uh, yeah, last year. Um, shout out to my buddy, Steven Pinks from Australia and all the beautiful people in Australia as well. And now we have Jack Sparrow. Just, I got the actual original Jack Sparrow. Maybe, what's that smell? Hmm. I almost had that smell like, uh, what was it? Oh, the the metallic uh, madcap from uh, the Mystery Pops from uh, Hot Topic last year. If any of you guys got the metallic madcap, um, it had this strong smell of paint. Uh, I guess it's the actual paint they use that smells like that. It smells weird. All right. Now comes the interesting part. Hold on. There's so many pops here. 
Uh, let me move these out of the way. You guys already saw them. I want to leave myself right there. You guys ready for this? This is the benefit of pre-ordering Pops. Yes, I go to a GameStop. Because it's just $5 you got to put down. You could pay pay them off, but I put $5 per pop. And I pre-order them. And it assures me that I'm going to get a pop. I've heard people complain, or not complain, talking about, or mention that they've had pops canceled. Thank God to this day, I've never had any pops canceled So from GameStop. So let's start with the little... The little guy and this is, <laughs> this is too cool. the homemade suit spider-man doors which looks pretty darn cool I would take them out of the box but look at the tape I don't want to ruin it so yeah he's staying in the box for now a lot of you guys that been following me for a while know that I you know, want to be able to buy a house instead. You know, I rent an apartment, buy a house where I could set up a wall and just put all my pops on display. And then we have the just regular Spider Man, looking pretty darn cool. Now it shows here 312, 313, 325. There's also a Tony Stark door, so I was wondering. Why I didn't get the Tony Stark and it's like I didn't pre-order it because it wasn't available for pre-order. Excuse me. Oh, oh my God. I haven't y'all like that in, in my, my videos in a while. So I ran back in the store after I came out, you know, I walked into my car and I was like, hey, am I missing a Tony, the Tony Stark dorms? Did it not come in? And it, uh, my buddy Selena checked and he doesn't release yet. So I was like, all right. So I went and put five bucks and I... Uh, pre-order him because I want him and he's actually a GameStop exclusive so you guys want if you guys want the Tony Stark Dorbs it's a GameStop exclusive and as of today it was available for pre-order so if you guys are gonna pre-order it now is the time because once it gets closer about a week or two away from the release date you won't be able to pre-order it and I'm just saying now is the time to go pre-order him and then now we have also got the doors. Now we have the homemade Spider Man or homemade suit Spider Man, which are pretty darn cool. I like, like I've mentioned in some of my other videos, if you guys have seen the, the trailer for Spider Man Homecoming, um, something happens, uh, you know, and just going by the trailers where Tony Stark tells Peter to give him back the suit Peter Parker says I'm nobody without the suit and he, you know Tony replies if you're nobody with the suit then you shouldn't even be wearing it and I believe that looks you know it, it, instead of giving up probably he builds some courage which he is pretty strong kid pretty brave and does his own homemade suit and you know does his thing you got to give him props because when you guys remember last year for a uh, civil war, it was pretty amazing that he was just a kid that used to do this, you know, fresh off of high school, and he used to, you know, beat crime and, and kick uh, all these uh, criminals' butts, and to actually join the Avengers, just gave him a suit for a kid, for a teenager to just you know put on the suit and kick ass like he did with the big dogs with the avengers i think he did pretty darn good so right now i can't wait to see you know if he's gotten any training or any more advice from tony stark and how well he's gonna do in this movie i mean i think the movie's gonna be amazing so what else do we have here now oh i'm not done with spider-man yet i love this one because i'm a big iron man and tony stark Fan, so this is the Tony Stark uh, pop, which I think is pretty darn cool. There's a lot of the Iron Man and Tony Stark pops from the past that I don't have because I started collecting pops right around when Age of Ultron came out. So, yeah, I missed out on a whole bunch of pops. And now, this guy right here, I have to take him out the box 
Or should I take the other one out? I don't take this one out. And I'm talking about Vulture. And he looks insane. I got to take him out the box because I want to see the details on it. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Being careful here because I don't want to mess it up. Whoa. Look at the details on this thing. Got a little bit of or Look at this, guys. This is insane. This is a pretty darn cool pop. Vulture. I like it a lot. He's going to go back in here. Hopefully, I don't mess it up. There we go. Give me a harder time to take it, put it back in than it did to take him out. All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today. All right, get this out of the way. I just, <laughs> I'm kind of like calm and kind of mellow right now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm excited to take all those Overwatch pops out. And now we have Peter Parker. Ow. Peter Parker. Pop. It's a triple P. It's a Peter Parker pop. Triple triple P, yo. I'm so stupid. No, sir. And this is the Glow in the Dark GameStop exclusive Vulture. And it looks pretty darn insane. Part of the wings and the engine and the hands glow in the dark and that's pretty darn cool I can't I'll see if I have time to uh, show you guys how it glows in the dark and now for all you gamers all you overwatch fans like I am here comes hold on did I show you guys hold up hold that thought hold that thought hold that thought okay see I wasn't prepared. Hold on. I'm right here. Don't leave yet. So I went to Hot Topic. I don't even remember if I showed it to you guys. But I picked up the actual Hot Topic exclusive main. She's already out the box. Because with these kind of details, she has to be displayed out the box. This is the Hot Topic exclusive main. Look at the ice. This is pretty darn cool. Very, very cool. Look at that. You know? And, um... Oh, as a matter of fact, she's probably gonna kick my butt or feel all shy or whatever. But my buddy Selena, as you guys saw from GameStop, you saw her. You saw her glasses. Please tell me that she will not do look like a real cute May. Like, she could cosplay as May. As May. I've been telling her for months, like, girl, you have... You should cosplay as May. I think she would do a really nice May. Just saying. Just saying. You guys think that she should cosplay as May? Leave a comment below. And uh, she she watches my videos, so she'll watch and see any of the comments. I think Selena would do an amazing May cosplay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Selena, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I put you on the spot. So, and then, and I'm going to have to take this one out. This is the regular May, which I'm loving it. She got blue, and my favorite color is blue. Look at that. That is so pretty. It's so pretty. Awesome. You know what? See, I got so many things. No, she's not going to stand. Um, she actually, oh, she actually comes with a stand. But, I'm trying to hurry up. I don't want this video to be way too long. Because I can't wait to take one specific pop. Because literally, I bought them, put them in the bag. Haven't opened them or checked them yet. So, here we go. Next one. Symmetra. Pretty darn cool. Can't take them out of the box because if not, it'll take me forever and ever and ever and ever forever. You guys did. But I mean, this 
Ooh. There was something sticky in the bag. Looks like tape. No bueno. So yeah, here we go. We got McCree. Yeah, boy. But I'm going to have to take them out the box because I'm going to have to compare. Because I got two different McCrees. I got this regular McCree. Which, uh, when I play against a McCree, they piss me off. You got a little regular McCree, right? That's Poncho. I don't know why I didn't make a base for him, because you could tell he's top heavy. I don't know if he'll be able to stand on its own. So, you guys saw a regular McCree. And... We have... The GameStop exclusive McCree. Yeah, the color of the shirt is oh, this is pretty, this is nice. This is really nice. It has the he has the flag around him, and then his hand right there, like a metallic red as well as, as well as shirt. We got the American flag around him. That's pretty darn cool. It would have been even nicer and cooler it was like if his cigar was to light up. Which, which, I've been kind of thinking about doing some, uh, some custom work on some of these pops, uh, light-wise, like making them light up with LED lights. You know, I'm thinking about it. We'll see. What else do we have here? Oh, I gotta take this one out. This guy out of the box. Oh uh, yeah, they should have made him glow in the dark as well. I'm just saying, because that lime green color he has. Oh heck yeah, nice guys. Look at the look at the details. <laughs> look at that. That is pretty darn cool. They should have made him glow in the dark. They should have made Lucio glow in the dark. But that's just me. Maybe I'll grab, uh, buy some glow-in-the-dark paint and go over the green spots and make it glow-in-the-dark. All right. And now, the moment I've been waiting for. I mean, I've been waiting for all these pops, but... <laughs> Time to get... The tanks out. And although it's supposed to be ladies first, let's start with this. Ooh, he's heavy. Oh my god, this Reinhardt looks freaking amazing. Look at that. <laughs> Guys, look at this. This is so darn cool. Didn't I mention months ago that, you know, Funko had said or mentioned or tweeted or whatever that they were not going to make any more six inch pops. But I'm glad, I'm glad they didn't go that way because there's a lot of pops like this one right here, Reinhardt, that, yeah, deserve to be this big. Now, another one of my favorite characters from Overwatch is Bastion. So we got all of these right here. I'm hoping Funko comes out with the Bastion Pop. That would be really good. And now this is a pop that I couldn't wait to get my hands on. Because when I play Overwatch, this is my main character. And I'm talking about... <laughs> I can't wait. Some of you guys already know. This is too darn cool. Oh, and... <laughs> Look at this diva. Wow. She's so shiny. Look at the details. Look at the, <laughs> the decals. You got diva. Blizzard Entertainment. Like, and then, I'm assuming this goes... Oh. Look at this. Mecha activated. 
and she has a little plastic thingy. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this little mini diva. This is too cute. <laughs> you guys see that? Reminds me of my uh, Titanfall Max. Guys, this is amazing. I'm gonna leave that plastic there because it kind of keeps her in place. You know, close this. Look at that. That is too darn cool. Now, there's going to be a carbon fiber skin diva. Um, and it's exclusive to Blizzard. And I'm kind of worried because I've been checking the website almost every day or almost every other day. And it's still not on the website. And as a matter of fact, when I play, you know, Overwatch, that is the skin that I use all the time. It's the carbon fiber skin. So I'm really hoping I can get the carbon fiber, uh, Carbon Fiber Skin Diva exclusive to Blizzard. Uh, I believe Blizzard will be their one year anniversary will be this month. So I don't know if they'll wait to that day to release release her. But they're also gonna have I think it's like a silver color Farah. They already have a couple Farahs. I don't know why that many variants, but I'm not complaining because I like Overwatch. So yeah, guys, this this is out of all of them. This is my favorite, most definitely. And of course, I can't wait to get the carbon fiber skin one. So, what can I say, guys? This has been a pretty awesome pop hunt. Got some Spider-Man, got some Pirates of the Caribbean in Overwatch. Couldn't ask for more. I am, you know, overall, I'm very, very happy. I might not seem that excited, it's just I'm a little bit tired, but I'm really happy. I'm extremely excited about this. Um, what can I say? I have one, two, three, four, five and a half boxes. When I say boxes, big boxes full of pops. I spend a couple hours, uh, two and a half hours at my storage sorting through all my pops. And it was hard to choose all these pops that I have here in my living room. Um, to get rid of and to sell. Um, it, it's a sacrifice that I was going to do before, but I wasn't able to, you know, sell a lot of them. Uh, but this time, I am just going to post them all on eBay. Rather than try to do an auction, which I tried a long time ago, and it kind of worked, I'd rather do it on eBay because it's easier for me to, it, for it to get sold, and I could print out the shipping slip and really pack and do everything from here all i gotta do is bring the actual pops to the uh to the post office and drop them off um a lot of the stuff is gonna be priced by ppg but it's not gonna be less than eight dollars so anywhere between eight eight and eight and twelve fifty somewhere around for commons um reason being it cost me about 277 to about three dollars and sixty cents per pop to send them out let's say as far as like i'm in the east coast as far as california i've paid anywhere from 266 to like 350 362 i think um for shipping for just one single pop depending on the weight so i'm really doing the sacrifice because i want to save money put money aside because i want to bring you know, bring my family i want to bring mrs raffi and the kids to disney um the next star wars celebration will be in 2019 as a uh, as a matter of fact not only will star wars celebration be the next one will be in 2019 but um the star wars land will open in both parks disney world and disneyland so if they were to choose to do the Star Wars celebration in Anaheim and I believe Disneyland is right there, that would be like a two for one kind of thing. So we're planning on if I sell all these pops will be, uh, I think, pretty much enough to cover for like the the tickets and, and, and you know, it, it, it'll be a, a nice amount. So you guys, if you guys are interested my eBay is, of course, Rafi614. I have pops there already. Um, by the time this video uploads, I'll probably already be uploading and adding more to my eBay. So if any of you guys want to own 
pops from my original uh, you know collection it's a little sacrifice I'm gonna be doing at some point you know uh, I'm gonna keep track of everything I sell and at some point I'll start all over again and you know go hunting for them but for now I really need to do this I need to do the sacrifice in order to bring my family to Disney World or Disneyland and um, if I get enough money, then we'll just go next year. If not, then we'll plan to go on 2019 and, you know, enjoy Star Wars Celebration and the Disney Park. So, guys, thank you so much for your support. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm a little tired, not as energetic as I usually am, but I'm working on it. Guys, if you want to see more of me um, uh, besides in this channel, you guys can always follow uh omni comics and cars that's where i work part-time uh facebook it'll be omni comic omni comics cards uh you guys look for it uh and you'll find it i actually shared a video on my facebook page raffi614 so it'll be easier if you guys check that video out it's about free comic book day so this coming saturday may 6 2017 i'm gonna be at uh at omni comics and I'm going to be streaming live, uh, most likely on YouTube, on my channel. And then I'll probably stream a little bit on Omnicomics.com. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Um, at Omnicomics Facebook page. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out and follow Omnicomics and cards, I'll try to leave... Um, a link below but if you guys go on my Facebook page you'll, you guys will see the video that I did today our, our first first video from the store uh, at a uh, free comic book day they're gonna be like three we're gonna have three free comics per person uh, a free you get a free shirt with a purchase of $20 or more uh, we're gonna have a gentleman um, he is the owner organizer producer at uh, terrific on terrific on is the it's Connecticut's terrific comic con at mohegan sun casino um we have a, a very special uh sp very special guest he's uh gonna be doing giveaways and he's also gonna have tickets for that comic con or terrific on rather it's gonna be august 8th through the 10th i'm definitely gonna be there uh so it looks like i'm gonna be going to a couple of of comic cons i already bought tickets for new year comic con for friday Friday, I'll be showing up Friday as in October when the New York Comic Con goes on. I'll be there Friday and then we'll be back with, you know, Mrs. Raffi and the kids uh, Sunday, maybe even Saturday. Let's see if uh, maybe I sell some of these pops. I'll be able to add another day. Um, it'll be my uh, my youngest stepson's birthday. And, you know, as a birthday uh, to celebrate his birthday, we're just going to spend two days in New York City and bring him to Nintendo World and go to New York Comic Con. I mean, it's, it's as good. We'll get him a cake, but, you know, the money that we saved on, you know, doing the party here at the house, well, he'll be able to buy some stuff at New York Comic Con. Uh, guys, thank you so much uh, for all your support, for all the love. You guys are the best. I'm trying my, my best to do more videos. But as for now, um, another thing that will help would be if you guys want to have a piece uh, of my original pop collection, I'm going to be posting it on eBay. My eBay is Raffi614. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a few things already up there. I think I have a um, bombshell, bombshell Wonder Woman chase there. I got a couple mystery minis. Um, I, I got a few. I think I have a... Uh, the Chase Snagglepuss pop. Um, I'm going to be adding a whole bunch of pops during this week and next week. So if you guys are interested, check it out. Thank you so much for your support. Um, what can I say? Give a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. You guys can follow me on Twitter, Raffi614. Instagram, Raffi614GHT. And on uh, Facebook, at Raffi614. So guys, thank you so much. Love you guys. Big hugs to every single one of you. Daps to all my homies. And as usual, later, Gator.